Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jay Edwards and I made the abrupt decision to move to Jamaica like a madman. You get what I'm saying? So in this video, I'm going to be updating you guys with what I've been getting up to, what's been happening and kind of just be transparent in this video because I know you guys have been wanting updates, but I haven't been able to provide updates guys because a lot of unexpected things have been happening. One of them being my laptop breaking. My laptop broke, so I haven't been able to film, edit and record videos because yeah, it's just not working. I'm going to show you guys actually. It's kind of unfortunate. My whole, I can't lie guys. My faith has been tested being out here. I'm just kind of wondering what is going on type thing. I'm obviously going to be showing you guys what I've been doing for work as well. Um, yeah, like, let me just show you guys the laptop. So as you can see at the side, this is water damage right here. So I accidentally spilled water on the laptop. Obviously it was my own fault, no one else's. And since then the fan has been working properly. The laptop has been glitching and shutting off. So anytime I try to edit videos and stuff like that, it overheats and shuts off. So that's why you guys haven't been getting videos. You get me? So I've just been trying to figure out like what season am I in? Like, did I make the wrong decision moving out here and stuff like that? Because a whole lot has been happening. Like from where I last left off, you lot saw that, you know, I was sorting out the barrels and trying to find somewhere to live. I did find somewhere to live. I'm in that space now to go be the great things he has done in it. And I can't lie guys, like it's been hard because Obviously, you guys saw what happened with my dad and I can't lie, that did take a mental toll on me. Like I did feel it mentally. Um, obviously, I lost a lot mentally, financially going through that situation. I was expected to jump from literally hot water to hot oil and experience homelessness in Jamaica again. Like for me, it's kind of like, obviously these things that happen to me, right? It's not like, oh, I take pride in them and I don't want better for myself. You think anybody wants to go through financial hardship? No. Do you think anybody enjoys homelessness? No. You think I make money of this? No. Like, it doesn't help. Like, I genuinely, I'm just trying to stabilize myself and find my feet, but it hasn't been easy. Remember, I'm a single male. I haven't got no family, no friends. So most of it has just been me trying to make the right decisions for myself. And I feel like one of the reasons of me moving out here was that I was fearful of going back to the homeless shelter, that type of thing. And obviously, I've just been trying to make things work out here. So obviously, you guys know that before moving over, I had plans. Obviously, I had J Radio, which is my multi-entertainment music streaming platform. J Radio, powered by Island. This is the voice of J Edwards. Final words, it's like a media media house, production company, it covers PR and all that type of stuff. It's a startup company and yeah, I can't lie, like we we produce good quality stuff. Like if you guys go over to my Instagram, go to my page, you'll see. So before coming out here, I reached out to a lot of brands and a lot of events companies to kind of, you know, work on marketing, even artists as well. Like I reached out to a lot of them to obviously help them with their marketing standards and stuff like that and see if I can get any production work done with certain businesses. Because obviously like, you know, for, I was expected from a foreigner coming down to the UK with certain equipment and obviously certain expert expertise and I've got a platform for myself. Like I thought it would be easier to kind of source work because obviously I kind of stand out type of thing. But obviously with unexpected things happening with my laptop as well, it slowed a lot of things down. Things that happened with my dad slowed a lot of things down. I actually missed out on a lot as well. And um, yeah, I've just been trying to recuperate and figure things out. So obviously coming over here, I reached out to a few brands. One of them re one of them reached back out to me, which was Dream Weekend. And obviously upon me arriving to Jamaica, I had a meeting with them and stuff like that. And obviously the plan was for me to work with them on influencer marketing for this year. So what that looked like was obviously I was going to film and record videos and help them with their international marketing because obviously I've got international platforms. So marketing in the US, um, U sorry, UK, US and Jamaica because obviously that's where my platforms are prominent obviously other parts of Europe. So obviously I was leveraging my platform and also using J Radio to produce content on their behalf and help them with their marketing on their behalf. So I did like one event with them at Foth Jam and I, um, and I did a couple other things as well, Exodus Carnival and I did a message to your ex video like that went everywhere on social media. I wouldn't mind seeing my ex on Dream Weekend because I know I'm going to come out and I'll be showing out. Yeah, Zuro, yeah. Oh. Who am I here with? Aria. Give me a message to your ex. Big buddy, what's up? I got some that you can fuck. Wait. <laughs> Nobody gonna love me quite like you. <laughs> Yo, so we have to come back. <laughs> No, listen, my mom told me stay away from drugs. That's drugs right there, so I'm staying away from drugs, you understand? Right. Better life? Better life. Upgrade? I'm not gonna say that. 
he was a good dude. Just didn't work out. Where she look nice, she a glow. Spin round. Done now. <laughs> Give me a message to your ex. <laughs> Wish I never met you. Uh... <laughs> What's your name, bro? Juby. Give me a message to your ex. <laughs> Wrong move. Wrong move. What did you say? I miss you. You want the man back? Mm, you know, if the stars align. Go we'll see if you find a new man. Because okay. sometimes old man don't go, they need a new man. Okay. And see? Yeah? Yeah. All right, go on. All right. <laughs> what is your name? Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. No. Give me one message to your ex. You're out. <laughs> You're out. Ex being out. out. Never in. Out. Out. She know why you're back? Not at all. When your ex, you're out. You're out. Ex, me. wrong, bang, everything wrong. Wrong, oh. bang, out. Oh. Oh, yeah, three things that your gym girl must have. Who am I here with? I agree at Boomerang is from Jamaica, you get me? Yes, this is all of that. Believe, man, I coach, I coach dog, man. All the wallet. All the wallet, man. I coach, man. Name Believe, three man. things a dream girl must have. Clarity. Yes, clarity. Personality. Personality. Bitch, you better have money. Bitch, you better have money. No broke girl. No broke girl. Bro, we don't oh, class. Class. Yeah. <laughs> Name three things a dream girl must have. Shape, figure, size. Penis. Elaborate. I like the bunda, ain't it, mate? Alright. Yeah, you got to have the bunda, ain't it? Alright. Good penis. <laughs> she must have good penis. No, no, that's she. See, wait, wait. Oh, what she must carry herself? Oh, oh, I just. Start up, start up. How many blood clad is? Name three things a dream girl must have. Must have a fat cake. Yeah, right. She gotta have a friend that don't. Uh, I mean, D DTF. Must have a fresh outfit. So, what was the ambition and all them something? No, it's dream weekend from. That's not in the dream, innit? Yeah. And her breath gotta be popping. Uh, can't be even. No stinky breath, breath. No, 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 no. Breath. I mean, uh, fresh. What she's supposed to Oh my oh. god. Uh, yeah. The road to Dream Weekend. Who am I here with? Dante. Dante. Alright, cool. Name three things your dream girl must have. She must have nice ass. Nice ass. Pretty face. Pretty face. And she must be good, no? Like, like, like she, she have a good structure. Like she have to want work. Yeah. She have to want. She have to want it. You know what I'm saying? Money. Have money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not we're just serious. trying to have a, yeah, no, we're trying to have a vibe for the weekend. A dream time. Bring a friend, yeah. spend to the end, yeah. you know what I mean? And make sure the friend is DTF. Yeah. Bring up yourself, fella. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, I did Exodus Carnival. Obviously, those videos, yeah, like um, a message to your ex, that went everywhere. You lots love that. Like, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and TikTok, you should do because when I'm not getting videos on here, done on here, because obviously my laptop, I can do some videos on Instagram and TikTok. So that's what I've been trying to do. And um, yeah, those videos went everywhere. You guys loved it still. Well, the people that saw it loved it. And obviously, with the whole marketing concepts, like three things that your dream girl must have. Obviously, dream weekend. Obviously, smart tactics. Tactic, you have to use psychology in your marketing so I was just kind of flexing what I could do and I thought obviously collaborating with big businesses like that obviously Dream Weekend is one of the biggest events out of Jamaica so I thought it would be a good look for me to obviously partner and collab with them first and obviously you had certain terms and agreements set before that but obviously as you do the work and stuff like that I can't lie I was a bit I held a bit of an L because the terms and agreements changed on their side midway through and obviously I just had to take that L and kind of maneuver from that. But obviously I did couple like I did a lot of marketing with them. I did, you know, I did um a dream weekend mix on SoundCloud, which I collaborated with DJ Hillion. J Radio. It's Campari Dream Weekend. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Um, yeah, I did a message to your ex, two of those videos, I did um, 
you know, Exodus Carnival. Like they had girls there and I line up the girls, I was telling the cameraman to do this, do that. Make sure you capture the gal like this, capture the gal like that. Cause I just wanted to show what I could do, innit? Obviously I'm new here in the country. So I wanted to make sure that I made my mark and obviously show what I could do. And I, the work spoke for itself because it definitely looked damn good, you get me? But it was just unfortunate that obviously like the terms of agreements changed on their part. So like, you know, not much came from that, from the work that I did for them. But obviously it produced numbers. And yeah, like on that side, I'm just kind of, you know, like, you know, I'm proud of the work that I did, but obviously whilst I'm trying to stabilize myself out here, that was unfortunate. Obviously I reached out to our artists to work out here as well. So obviously I'm going to be getting into the reason why, bro, I reached out to our artists to work with, yeah. One thing I didn't know that, like obviously work ethic in Jamaica is different. You get what I'm saying? Like people move on their own time and stuff like that. So where obviously, you know, I signed the artists to J Radio, so we're supposed to work with them on their marketing and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, things slow down on their part, like they they were in the right headspace. Do you get what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, obviously where I had sown certain seeds before I came here, obviously I identified the business avenues I would have been doing had like, bro, when I said I had conversations before, obviously with life and obviously things being uncertain, I always try to make sure that I know what I'm doing before I move because guys, I'm tired of being in this position where I don't know where the next cent is coming from. Do you feel like this is a nice way to live? Like, obviously guys, I just try to make the right decisions for myself and I would have never came to Jamaica knowing that I would have incurred certain things and I would be in a position that I'm in otherwise I just would have I can't lie guys I was running away from starting over again that's the truth starting over again as in going back to where I once was you lot saw that I was in the one room and I knew what I went through mentally in that aspect and I feel like I was running away from that I didn't want to because obviously facing eviction I didn't want to go like like I, I didn't want to I don't want to and Obviously, it's me by myself. I haven't got nobody. So all it's all I've been trying to do is just chase my dreams. And obviously, whilst doing that, like some people take advantage, some doors get shut in your face and stuff like that. And obviously in Jamaica, I thought that obviously where I've got a platform out here, people know me out here, like people endorse me out here. But like I thought attacking business would have been slightly easier on that aspect because I've got experience. You get me? So um obviously yeah like it was just a case where you know obviously i did that i performed i did well obviously working with the artists reached out met with them had meeting with them and obviously the headspace that they were at they just weren't ready to do certain things so i just kind of had to maneuver and move on from that in it and building personal connections in jamaica hasn't been easy obviously settling into my space and stuff like that like obviously being a foreigner like people ex like people think that you cough and breathe out money and it's like people don't know the reality of my life that I've come out here just to kind of recuperate, learn my culture, reset myself and stuff like that. And um, I don't know if moving out here on my own, well, it's not like if I was in the UK, it would have been the same situation anyway. It's like I didn't have anyone in the UK, but being in a new environment, trying to adapt, like it's been hard, it's been difficult. You get what I'm saying? And it's been rewarding in the aspect where like I've proven to myself I can kind of do it, but it's like I am tired of I don't want to waste my time on doing things that isn't for me type thing. So I've just been so heavily trying to figure things out. And obviously, like, I was supposed to launch my talk show out here, Airtime with Jay. And I've been on the road, like, meeting with different people, different businesses and stuff like that. And I can't lie, I've recorded two episodes of that, which I'm excited to show you guys very soon. And yeah, like, I'm going to show you guys a few clips of what I've been trying to do. Yeah, so guys, you don't know, say, I'm in Jamaica. I'm back again. On the north side of the air, I try to start out one and two things. So I'm actually on the set of Airtime with Jay, and we're just kind of looking at everything. Set. And who am I here with? We're here with Prince. And we're going to make sure, sir, we're going to get a very good season when it starts. So far, with the show, what I can tell you guys is that, yeah, one DJ I got there, we're going to have one night to surprise us, huh? And it's in one undisclosed location, so when you find out about it, you're going to find out about it. Because I'm not so much going to go on, so DJ I got there right there, son. So one backdrop's going to be right here. And then we said that we're going to have one set up right here. And then, yeah, camera angle one, and then obviously at the back. What do you think about the guests? Alright, the guest lineup? Yeah. I love the guest lineup. Is there a but? So far, no. No. Based on way explain what yeah. you want to do and the lineup it makes it. Okay. I linked up with a videographer, I filmed a couple of episodes of that season. Obviously, guys, I'm out here in it, so I'm trying to exhaust all options. I don't have much I can work with, my laptops ain't working, so I've just been trying to attack, 
you know, any business opportunity that's come my way type thing. Also, I've been reaching out to a lot of brands, a lot of agencies here and abroad as well. But I kind of like, <laughs> I don't know if, I don't know, guys, I don't know. A lot of things is different. Obviously, interactions is different when you're not from here. People expect you to, you know, cough and breathe out money type of thing. So, like, there's not many genuine interactions because people are looking at, oh, what can you do type thing. Obviously, food is different. Obviously, I'm going to show you guys, like, what the market looks like in Jamaica as well. It's different, isn't it? Like, food isn't too expensive, but it, I can't lie. It's competing with foreign prices still. All right, people, people. We're live in downtown. Down Wait, which part are we there again? Coronation Yeah, Coronation Market people see them all the market look. And the market. Look a good look. See everything, yeah. So I have my shopping list. Sweet pepper, onion, spring onions, garlic, pink line out like this. Yeah, the food them there. Yeah, everything there. This is how the market looks. It's a real market. No, I'm not for my camera. Oh. Oh, I know me. No, I mean for, for me. The video is good. So people, you did dig up the character when you put them in. Yeah. <laughs> So it looks, and then you wait over there, Panda. Yeah, two pounds. How much is that? Now? Five All right. All right, people, that's the end of it. I just literally did all of my shopping. I me spent about seven thousand in our oil sale, and I just probably spent uh, roughly about like six, like three grand, three grand. Like downtown, like you can find a lot of like produce and stuff like that. Basically, like it's just like any market still. Like so, you just pick out like what you want. Obviously, you do it by one kilogram or one pound or whatever it is. So if it's like if you're doing one kg, they might charge you two hundred dollars for like I don't know spring onions, so which equals to one pound. I can't lie, one pound for spring onions. Is... So obviously, when I go to a coronation market, I spend about like three grand. You know there which i'm going to be showing you guys in the video it's not too it's not too bad it's not too expensive there but i can't lie guys the supermarkets here in jamaica are teeth bro the supermarkets in jamaica are teeth like chicken in the supermarket expensive you're looking at for literally one small pack of chicken they're charging you all 1500 you get what i'm saying that's more than say 1100 jmd um in pounds is like five pounds you get what i'm saying certain places in england supermarket you can go in there and find chicken for literally like two pound 99 so i can't lie there's a bit of inflation inside the grocery markets and on top of that price you will see 1500 marked on the sticker yeah but when you go to the till they're adding extra 20 percent on that you know what i'm saying it's not ideal still i'm not gonna lie to you like J the supermarkets in Jamaica need to do better still. We're not, we're not going too bad still. I'm not going to lie. You're not going to too bad still. Y'all need to fix up and pattern up. Mm, electric is pretty much the same in the UK. Like, the only difference is you don't pay council tax on these things here. You get what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that taxi, I'm not going to lie. Taxi service isn't too expensive. Like, you can go out there and find literally a $150 cab or a $250 taxi and go somewhere, or you can book an Uber out here. So, being in certain prime locations is actually okay. But the thing that has been a struggle for me has been networking and finding friends. You get what I mean? I can't lie, guys. Networking and building connections in Jamaica hasn't been the most easiest thing. And it's a you don't know, like, when you don't have anywhere to start off from like you know people on social media are kind of weird as well so i can't lie it's been kind of like you know i've been doing everything on my own type of thing i've been like i think it's been three months i've been out here still and it's just literally been me trying to figure things out on my own like that i've been i had one person which is kind of like a guardian angel i have one person that takes me about in terms of a steady taxi driver and stuff like that and i can't lie he gives me a lot of wisdom and he helps me in terms of navigating and figuring things out in Jamaica. And if I didn't have him, I can't lie, I didn't, I don't know what I would do. 
Like, you know when certain people you can feel that they're set back God type thing? And if I didn't have that one taxi driver that's been showing me around and helping me with certain things, me no me would have to. And you know certain people, like, you know I've been saying, when people expect you to cough and breathe out money, like, in Jamaica when you're a foreigner, like, he understands everything still. Like, he sees that I'm out here trying and I can't, like, big up yourself, father, still. Like, in the, and you know what's funny? His name is father. Like, me lose one father, is like, me take up our next one. You know what I'm saying? And he, he's actually been helping me like genuine you know like no one they expect nothing from me and then there's something there and rate it and he's just telling me the ropes and showing me the ropes how to do certain things on rate it and if i did let say god show god sends people in different shapes forms and all of that and i've been heavily holding on to my faith as well because obviously being out here in jamaica it has been easy in it like being alone not knowing anybody like it like in a whole new environment country um I kind of underestimated what it would take to kind of do this and obviously i believe that you know that i can do it but it's also a thing where like i don't have a lot of time to waste and i'm in an age right now where it's like you know it's do or die i'm in a time right now it's do or die wrong wrong move in it and i don't want to run out of finances in jamaica in it because it hasn't been easy setting myself out here like i said the networking hasn't been easy but i did meet barbara from jungle barbara make up yourself anyway in it girl you have a buzz bobby hello bobby <laughs> Wow, oh, she look good in her ear. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's all in her, baby? Yeah. You have to relax. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to put on weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Better ball of fans. Don't forget you. Empty Barbara right there. Right so the Barbie here. doll, the one Barbie doll. Oh, it go. Oh, it go. Like oh, it go. Like You're mad. Keep the brutes. <laughs> You're yeah. mad. We're outside, we're outside. Nobody can't take my space. Though. All of them gone over the island. No one can take my space. Cutie. Click it. Make a good look. Barbie in the building. Right there, not me. Body fit. Face look. Naturally. <laughs> no makeup. Yeah. Just naturally. Yeah. Miss Polly Dolly. Mm -hmm. Big up Jay Edwards. Back, back, back. Live yeah. from London. Yeah. Where I've been. Yeah. yeah, the government loves me over there, see? <laughs> and took a bond there. Yep, after. Right? Alright people, we're back again, we're back again, we're done the night out, we're done the we're meeting them. Barbara, where are you? Right now, you know what I say right yeah. now? Out, out, My out. That's some magnum, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I got one different pub, you know? Yeah. Cause right now, fuck different from sex, fuck out with a jam. <laughs> but sex, I wanna rotate like fun, you see it? Where are they? <laughs> Kiss out, where are they? Right. So just move, don't move your leg, just move your body to your lawn. <laughs> hey, that queen, you push it down. Where's the queen to walk? We can't do it like Bobby. <laughs> hey, Mr. Barbara, we meet Barbara, and she will want somebody where she give me good vibes, right, chew and chew. You know what I'm saying? Right, chew and chew, right, chew and chew. You know what I'm saying? So I big up yourself, Barbara, that was quite fun meeting her and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and like, I can't lie, there's been a few highlights, but, th but there's been a few downtimes. Obviously, a few highlights in Jamaica for me has been, obviously, like, even though things didn't really too work out during weekend the weekend the way how I thought it would, that experience was obviously, like, going to, like, you know, carnival, all of that was nice. Like, there's been a lot of highs and lows, you get what I'm saying? Like, but, like, with me, guys, I've been trying to, like, learn a lot, and it also in my in my periods where I'm not able to do stuff because obviously things aren't happening in Jamaica every single day business wise for me aside from the interviews I'm trying to get that done airtime with Jay bring that back because the last time I did that season was obviously in 2021 three years ago so I came out here I'm trying to interview people if there's anybody that you guys want to see me interview please comment in the comment section below now like obviously I'm just I'm trying to make things work guys I'm not trying to fail I'm, not, I'm, I'm really trying to make something of myself um I'm a trying you I'm honestly trying I'm trying but obviously, I said to God that if this is not for me and he doesn't want me out here and not even that if this is if he doesn't want me out here, like 
I don't want to make I, 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 one thing I'm scared that I've been doing is saying that it's God or maybe I've been influencing myself and I have like recently I've been stopping to ask God what is it that he wants me to do type of thing if it's for me to go back to the UK and start over again then let that be it and let me know and I'll happily go face the music type thing if social media isn't for me let me know and I'll happily go into a nine-to-five I'm at the point now where I just want to find stability and it hasn't been the easiest type of thing and you know I, I, I just said to myself that I wanted the experience like I didn't want to not try it I don't regret coming to Jamaica but I just kind of have been thinking to myself was it abrupt doing what i did i sold everything to come out here i let go of everything i knew of to kind of embark on this new journey and i and you know a lot of people have said that you know coming out here they like what I, the work i've been doing but for myself my own fulfillment like i just want to be okay like i don't want to wake up and worry about where the next set is coming from it's not like it's not thrilling to do these things you get what i'm saying and i felt like i've been having to hide that part away and not be vulnerable but i can't lie i don't care i'm just trying to figure out life just like everyone else and i feel like it's good to show these times where it's uncertain it's good to show that you don't know what happens next and i can't lie whatever happens next in my life i'm embracing it full force you get me whatever happens damn happens you get what i'm saying and um yeah like being out here i haven't been able to like really talk to my sister so frequently because obviously you know things it wasn't so great with my relationship with my mom as well you just know what happened with that so it's like being out here not you know having family friends not being able to communicate and obviously you know moving away from the uk like a lot of these connections have weakened as well so it's like you know i've just been having to encourage myself and figure it out for myself and learn and Obviously, I've been exercising, I've been trying to get my health right, and obviously, I can't lie, scale back living to kind of see myself through to the next month. And, you know, I, I, I know that God has something in store for me and whatever his plans are for me, but like like I said, like I, I don't want to lead myself wrongly, and I've just been trying to stop and hear what God has to say for me. And I can't lie, it's been hard because I have felt into depression out here. Like, you know, it's not easy being a young black male. I fight, I fight, I've been fighting against suicidal ideation since being out here. You know, suicidal thoughts, thinking, can I do it? Like, did I make the wrong decision? Like, it's been, it's taken a whole lot to even still be here today and record this video. When I say that I've recorded this video a couple of times, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, like, one thing I say that God has kept me. And if I did make the wrong decision by coming out here, the man picked me up. You get what I'm saying? He made sure that he saw me into a safe residence. You get what I'm saying? It's not like me on the road, that bata bata and I bros bros. God has been coming through for me in certain aspects. But I feel like this has just been a whole lesson within itself. And I would just say to anybody out there that's thinking to embark on a new journey, just make sure you're as prepared as can be. And, you know, if you're finding yourself in a situation where you don't know what to do and you don't know where to go and you don't like... Don't be scared to go backwards, to go forward. And I feel like that's the lesson I'm learning out here. Like with me, I'm holding heavy on my faith and I'm depending on God to just kind of guide me in the right direction on what he wants me to do. So I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting to see what he says type of thing. And I hope that, you know, whatever happens next is, you know, I, I, I am praying for a bounce back. You get what I'm saying? I'm praying that I get the season done with the show. I'm praying that, you know, my laptop gets replaced and I can just get myself back on track. Like, I really do want to get myself back on track. So, I want to see myself, like, I'm, I'm trying, like, everything you guys see me doing is not for image, is not for show. It's just me trying to make something of myself. I'm not trying to live a facade. This is why I'm showing you guys. This is the real of it. Like me keeping myself together, like me putting myself together, making sure I'm well kept. It's just that I'm not trying to make my situations and circumstances show on my face, innit? Like I'm trying to still make myself go somewhere. So that's why it's like, I'm not going to look worse than nobody else. And no matter what, I'm always going to try to carry my integrity. But I feel like going through all of this, I've been silencing myself a lot and just suffering in silence not realizing that if i don't talk this is my outlet if i don't do this then i'm gonna go mad 
So this is where I started and this is what I'm going to continue doing and this is me and this is my life. So whoever likes it, likes it. Whoever don't, don't. The reality is I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I am trying every day. I get up every day and I'm trying. I'm emailing. I'm reaching out to people. I'm trying to do what I can do. So as long as, long as I'm doing everything that I can do in my power, I just got to give myself the grace that I'm doing the best that I can do. And I'm praying every day. I'm on my knees every day praying to God. I fast. I'm letting go of certain things and, you know, just trying to correct my environment and just trying to figure out what it is that God has in store for me. So yeah, guys, that's just the update of what I've been doing and you know, I have a whole list here Hopefully I went through everything Last thing, obviously, I don't know if you guys saw I made a dog famous in Jamaica, big up Danger and Giselle And yeah, that, I can't lie, like I, I, I was trying to, you know Whilst I was in the situation of uncertainty I just felt something calling me to kind of go out there And I saw what happened with Lady Saw and I was just kind of saying to myself that I've been going through a bad time and maybe if I could do something of encouragement to someone else that could kind of, you know, uplift them because I know it's like to be in a downtime and not have nobody to really and sometimes, you know, it takes my followers reminding me who I am and they believing in me. So I was just like, all right, cool. Let me go to Ladysa, let me go up on the streets and record a video and I did a word of encouragement to Lady Saw to try to uplift her. People, I'm here in downtown Kingston. Who am I with? Tisha. Give me a word of encouragement for Lady Saw, aka Marian Hall. AKA Marian Hall, who God bless no man curse. God sent Isaiah that he will contend with them that contend with you. Don't need to worry about it. God got you. Be threatened. All right, then. That nice. Wake up yourself. Give me a word of encouragement for Lady Saw. Well, all I can say is stay in the work, not in the house of the Lord, same way. Because I'm not a dancer right now. As much as I miss her as a dancer artist. You feel me, Yes. yes. I don't mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Lady Saw, just have fear. Because all God go through it, so who is you? God go through it and him come out strong, so who is you? And sometimes when you go through them, something you have to make life. You see me? You have to go through the rough part, for the smooth part of it. You see me? I just saw it go. I saw it go. All right, Marianne, uh, I'm going to tell you this. I am also a Christian too. You understand? No matter what, people will always bring you down. You understand? Big up yourself. You are my boss from a long time, from, from when we go out on the world of party. You see me, I follow you up straight. So watch them, man. What are what people want to about you? God, God not condemn you none at all. You understand? Him saying search inside, not search outside. Man up on the outside, but him up on the inside. You see him? Big up yourself, Marion. I love to see him. We are Mikael just so straight. Straight. I can't lie. Downtown people, they have good spirits. They have good vibes. And um, some of them anyways. And I met a lady called Danger. And I can't lie. Like, she... Have you get know what I'm saying? And, people, and social media saw her and wanted to donate some things to her. So I was like, all right, cool. Let me make sure, so make, you know, do, do my part and get them things there to work. Because we know I say, yo, in Jamaica, we know what struggle looks like, guys. Those those that have been through struggle know what struggle's like and know how it feels. Who feels it knows it. So it's like, cool with me, like, despite what I'm going through, I'm waiting to make sure that I can stop and help somebody else and give her advice and stuff like that. So... Yeah, like, I'm just trying to find my feet in Jamaica. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And, you know, this is a journey and a half. And I hopefully I can show you guys a bit more. And, yeah, I'm just praying that God intervenes. Like, God, I need to just show up. You get what I'm saying? We need to just show up and show up. Because, you know, if, like, man, I lie. Sometimes we feel bad to say people are weird, but don't fall. Like, why? We never wish that nobody don't fall yet. And then there's something there. So it's kind of, like, shocking that people, you know, have been waiting to do that I told you so thing because... We're all trying to figure out life, you get me? So, yeah. So, guys, that's the update with me. And I hope that it was insightful for you guys. And I just say I love you guys. Like, really, I love you guys. Like, if it wasn't for the messages sometimes and you guys encourage me, me know more than I do. Me know more than I do. But big up on a nice, clean self. Me love no every time. Yeah. This is Jay Edwards. And big up to what happens next. Mount.